What's going on, guys? Check this out. I am with Kip Tribble, Robert Mukes. Hi, I'm Tracy Faraway. And you are watching. Click on this. <laughs> we are here at the Lemley Theater in Beverly Hills for the premiere of Coffin 2, and we are interviewing the cast, so let's check it out. You have a major role in this film. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your character and what it was like playing it? Well, her name is Nicole, and uh, she's this, like, you know, struggling actress. She's a waitress. She's got a really hard life. She's kind of thrown into this situation. I think her street smarts will really help her in this movie um, without giving too much away. Um, but, yeah, I mean, she she's got a very hard exterior, and I think underneath, as you see the movie progress and as she's in this cage longer and longer you start to see you know her true self come out I'm very excited i know everybody has worked very hard the whole producing team kip has done amazing work to make it happen and uh, i'm just excited to be a part of it and i well i won't tell you if i get killed or not we'll see <laughs> this is a whole different thing it's a, just making sure everything runs smooth and making sure everyone's fed making sure everyone's paid making sure locations are locked i loved it but as an actor you gotta it's, it's totally different because I'm concentrating on a million things and then all of a sudden it's time to do a scene and you know you have to get prepared to do your scene as well but busy busy yeah very busy. so can you tell me a little bit about your character in the film absolutely my character is new to the series uh, he wasn't in one he joined the cast in uh, coffin 2 you look like an FBI yeah, agent do I? yeah in real life I, I I can feel it some James Bond stuff so we did good casting yeah. then yeah. okay good how, you, how excited are you to see it finally? I'm really excited it's just Not that good. it's um yeah. what is it okay. My time is almost quarter to ten, almost bedtime. And so jet lagged. Jet lagged a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was the, maybe the best part about being the executive producer of this film? Well, I was executive producer of the first one, yes. and this is a sequel, and it was much anticipated, and it's just exciting to make it happen. Yeah. And what's the main difference you think that this one has from the first one? This one is edgier, grittier. It's got more of not I won't say a punch, but a punch. Um, it's, it's not as peaceful as the last one was. This one's grittier. And I heard that there's a third one that's supposed to be coming out. Can you yeah, tell us anything about that? Yeah, support this one. There will be a third one. And what can we see for that one, maybe? We don't know yet. Not we yet? have to wait and see. Nothing's, nothing's on paper yet nothing's for that one? Nothing's on paper yet. Nothing yet? <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the third one as well. And thank you All so right. much for talking about that. Thank so can you. We see it? Are an actor, producer, and casting director for this film. Yeah. What was your favorite part? you think of doing all my favorite part of this entire situation yeah. was probably the downtime when I had no work to do I'm serious no no coffin coffin eating snacks <laughs> eating snacks and going to sleep snacks. no this has been fun coffin too has been a lot of fun first time to produce I had a blast with it producing is not easy no acting is not easy but when you have to like wrangle and babysit and I don't mean that in a bad way Every corner of every page, it, it, it gets a little tiring. But this movie tonight, I know you haven't seen it yet. Haven't. It's fantastic. And we're very excited. It's the best chapter two that you can ever have for uh, a film. Yeah. And it's, 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 um, it's, a, it's a lot darker than the original Coffin. I we're going to have to get Coffin 3 happening. We, so, so we said. Yeah, and once we get, get it on paper. And once we get Coffin 3 started, you're going to see the whole unraveling of Trick. But um, it's great being back in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to, Tracy, I want to pull somebody in here. Yes, I of pull, course. Get you over pull here. Her, get over here, Tracy. Tracy. This is, Hi, this is Tracy. Tracy Barry Wang. Hi, how are you? Fellow actress, please tell us a little bit about you. Look, I'm already taking your job. Get over here. Oh my God. He's the best. He's the best. Oh, he's but so he's good. taking my job. So tell us a little bit about you. <laughs> I'm great. I'm, you know, I'm doing great. I'm here supporting everyone. I'm so excited. I was at the first Coffin premiere, so now I'm thankful to be back at the second one. I love everyone involved, but you know me, I'm just doing my thing. Like I played Tom Hanks' daughter in my last film. Yeah, I'm I want to play Tom Hanks' daughter. What I want to play Tom Hanks' yeah. daughter in his next film. Come well, on, you know, come on. Little baby Forrest Gump's over here, a bunch of them. So what are you expecting from the, this film since you saw the first one? I'm expecting to be scared out of my wits. I saw the trailer for this one and it looks terrifying. Just so you know, I had to like shut it off for a second just to be like, whoa, okay. And Halloween's coming up, which just makes it even crazier. But what was it also like for you to juggle all those jobs at once for one film? Not easy. I mean, being a producer, you know, helping with casting, acting, 
Wearing all these hats, I mean, you got to stay mentally focused and you got to be physically strong. I mean, that's it's a, yeah. not easy. It's not easy. That's a lot of hats to have on. Yeah, yeah. Many but hats. We had a great crew. Dr. Spencer Johnson, Kip Tribble, Scott Ham, Dan, everybody. We all played a pivotal point and we were very strong and it was unity, it was family. Yeah. I mean, to work under the conditions that we had and to shoot for several weeks in Los Angeles, it just wasn't easy. Yeah, yeah, it was not and easy at all. What was your favorite part of the whole experience then? The rap? <laughs> no. It's like anytime I wasn't let, working. Let me tell you, because the first character trick, I actually had lines where, guidelines. And I was like, you know, I got to make my character different. So what would be the next chapter? Five years later, this guy has gone crazy. So he's more diabolical. He's extremely dark. He's starting to unravel. And he's pulling everybody into this abyss. And that's where I got my character from. And uh, you'll see it on the screen. It does yeah. deep and it dark. It sounds very deep and very yeah. dark. So we can't wait to see it. Yeah, and what else do you both have coming up in the mix? Yeah, what do you got, Tracy? Right, right now, I'm working on pilot season. But I've got a film that's going in festivals right now and yep. stuff. So, so I'm super excited. And I worked with friends on that. So you know what I mean? Oh when you gosh, know the yes. people, you know everyone works. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Johnny can relate on that. I'm wrapping up Gotham. Yeah, one more episode. Um, I've got two projects. I'm doing a new Western film. I'm shooting it in Pittsburgh. and. Um, West Virginia. Um, I got a new mob film that I'm shooting called The Driver with Ray Liotta. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Who doesn't want to work with Ray? Come on, man. Forget about it, right? Yeah. So that's gonna be cool. And there's um, there's a project that I'm being considered for. It's like this haunted house uh, thriller. Another one. Another movie. Oh, yeah, to be shot in Hollywood. Do which you I have it in you anymore? Do you have any more horror inside of you? If left? I if I don't have to produce and cast, absolutely. <laughs> I can build a character. Yeah. So. Take off a few of the hats. Yeah. Take, off yeah. the, take off a few of the take hats. Take off the hats. But yeah, man. I mean, the thing is, you know, I was conditioned to be an actor. I kind of fell in the role of producer. I kind of fell in the role of casting. And I will say this to any actors that are watching. So you're watching. You got me there. Yeah. Acting, you can have longevity in the business. But if you really want the respect, you got to produce after a while. No question. No questions no asked. Question. Yeah. It's coming from him. The, the big broke joke. I'm going to right now. The yeah, big yeah. broke joke. Yeah. I'm still in that Man, in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for talking with us. Thank Enjoy you. the film. We all can't wait to see it. So, thank you so, so guys, much. I am yeah, with the man behind it all, Mr. Kip, who is a writer, actor, producer of this film. Everything that you can imagine. This is the man behind the scenes. So, what? came to your mind at first when writing? Well, for Coffin 2, obviously I had the, the first one to work off of and we needed to have a sequel, but uh, it needed to be something different. We couldn't just have two people trapped in a box for the whole movie, it's just doing the same thing over. And I'd actually written another script uh, probably 10 years before called Ragdolls, and it was about five people that were paralyzed being held by this madman. But it was out in the woods, and so I took that story and I adapted it to the coffin world, and I took, you know, brought in Trick and all the other characters from the first one, yeah. added in some new ones, and that's how this one came about. And how would you say this one is different from the first one? Uh, this one uh, definitely uh, is a little bit edgier, a little bit darker. Um, there, there's definitely more storylines, more going on. There's more characters, uh, more victims, and uh, there was a couple twists at the end of the first one, and I tried to outdo myself on that one. And you wear a lot of hats with all your jobs that you have going on in this film. Is that hard for you, or do you just enjoy every second of it? I uh, just enjoy the torture, I guess. No, I, I do. There, there's a lot of things, um, you know, you, you love it all at some times and you hate it at other times. Um, I would say out of all of them, uh, producing is my least favorite. Uh, just because of all the non-creative stuff that goes into that. But generally, overall, I'd say I would lo I'd love it all. Do you have a favorite role by chance? Whether it's directing or acting or producing. Obviously not producing, um, but right, which one do you think right. is your favorite if you had to pick? Uh, the first one I had to pick would be, uh, you know, I started as an actor. I'm an actor first and foremost. Uh, but then after that, I would probably say uh, writer. Writer and then uh, director and then definitely producer is somewhere way down there. Way down there, but it's there. It but has but to be it's there. there. It has to be there. Okay, thank you so much for talking with us. And Absolutely. we can't wait to see the film. So thank you so much. Well, in the first one, I star opposite Kevin Sorbo, and we are trapped in the coffin. So that was uh, crazy scary and yes. a lot of fun. Um, and then for this uh, coffin two, my schedule was a little inflexible, but magically uh, my character reappears at the end for somewhat of a cliffhanger. So I 
can't give too much away, Not even a but little bit, it's something. just it's it's a magical lead into yeah. what uh, may be the coffin three. So and I'm usually playing the baddie. Okay. I play the villain. I'm usually playing some crazy, some okay. a lot of serial killers and things like yeah. that. So it's really a lot of fun to play the good guy for a change. <laughs> one of the good guys. And I'm yeah. real life as well. Usually you're the bad guy, but no, finally no, gets no, no, no. My mother told me to smile. And be hey guys, nice so everybody. I'm here with a Jason Alonzo, who is here at the top, the coffin two premiere. And how are you tonight, Jason? Oh, I'm doing fine. I just pulled up from San Diego, you know, kind of a long drive, especially this time. But And your brother is the producer and actor and casting director of the film. So what's it like to see him have a project like this tonight? This is amazing. You know, I, I went out for the first um, premiere and uh, I'm here to show my support for the second. And it's just a really nice uh, draw for a crowd. And awesome. uh, yeah, we're really excited to see. And I hear that you have a little business going on. Can you tell us about that at all? I have my own company. Um, we are Rhodes. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Rhodes.Cannabis. Um, but we focus on solventless concentrates and uh, clean meds. And that's a huge thing right now is the whole cannabis business. But how does yours differentiate from maybe some of the other ones? Uh, we test all of our flowers, so everything's pesticide free, uh, very high potency, and we have an exotic series of uh, strains, basically. Awesome. And are they edibles or is it just smokable? Or how does it work? We are going to be breaking into some edibles pretty soon. It's all like a lot of full melt, basically. And what's it like for you to have a business like this when it's coming in the mix so dramatically at this point in, in our time? Uh, this is the nearest thing to the gold rush uh, on the best coast, on the Gold Coast. Awesome. Green Coast. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us and enjoy the movie hey as guys, well. So I am here with Robert, who's an actor in this film. And how are you feeling this evening at this premiere? I'm feeling fantastic. We're in Los Angeles, California, Beverly Hills at the Music Hall Movie Theater. And it's awesome today. It's like 70 degrees out here. Everything's fantastic. We're watching Kaufman 2 movie premiere right now. So can you tell me a little bit about your character in this film? My character is a little um, insecure and uh, he's being manipulated by someone that has a master plan and he's a little bit uh, intimidating and aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> but you're such a nice guy. You don't, seem, you don't seem like that intimidating or aggressive, just so you know. So, so what, what was it like for you to play that kind of role? It, it, it was uh, fairly challenging. I studied for the role and uh, I'm very happy with how it came out. We had a screening last week and it looked fantastic. I'm super excited to see it in here on this screen. What's going on guys? John Alonzo again here on Wilshire Boulevard. We are here with uh, the Coffin 2 premiere. It's going to be a lot of fun and we are gi uh, we're giving out a big shout out to BMM Web Fest. Right. We can't wait to see all those exciting wave series. Stick around, man. Hey guys, so I'm here with Desiree, and she is a cast member slash producer of the film. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. I am super excited. I am playing the part of Wendy, and I'm also an associate producer for Coffin 2. Johnny Alonzo and I go way back, way back, probably diapers. No, um, and we we started out acting around the same time, and our paths crossed again after a few jobs that we've done and we joined forces with this amazing team. Fantastic cast members, you've seen most of them interviewed tonight. And um, you'll see me a lot with Robert Mutes in the beginning. Uh, it's just been a fantastic time. And, and I'm actually out from back east, flew in on Tuesday and oh, wow. almost didn't make my own red carpet because of the traffic. And I was not gonna let you miss this dress, okay? <laughs> uh, my favorite part was that I was able to have freedom in de developing the character. I could ad lip a little bit. The ad libbing helped relax me more. It was more realistic. Uh, we shot grueling hours. The heat was so intense because you can't shoot with the air conditioner on, it messes up the sound. And you play Wendy in the film? Yes, I play Wendy in a film. Um, I have a crush on someone. <laughs> And I, I don't want to give the movie away, but you'll see me towards the, the, in the beginning and you'll see me at the end again. I, I set the bar in the beginning. Hey guys, so I'm here with Pat, who plays a major role in this film. How are you doing tonight, Pat? I'm doing great. I'm very happy to be here. It's you nice to meet amazing. you, man. Nice to meet you, too. You look fantastic yourself. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So what was your favorite part about playing your role in this movie? You know what? Uh, we did Coffin 1. Uh, we, uh, we did Coffin 1 about six years ago and filmed all over Los Angeles with many of the people in this cast. So. Coming back to do the second film was it was really easy. It was like you know visiting your family, yeah. and uh, really just so comfortable working with all these people. And uh, I've done a couple of movies with Kip now and uh, Johnny Alonzo, and uh, and it's a fun part because it's always fun to play a bad guy. 
there's a level of familiarity when you're working with people you know and the people you like. Yeah. And uh, it's easy. And it kind of there's a bit of a shorthand yeah. that happens where you can kind of finish one another's thoughts yeah. and and uh, you know and things like that. You know what? I think I think there are a few more twists in the second one. Um, I think it's a bit more. Uh, it's I think I think the second film is a bit more of a sort of a true horror film. I, I think if you'd asked me to classify the first film, it's more of a sort of a psychological thriller. I think the second film is uh, kind of uh, kind of falls into that horror genre. So Daniel, what was it like for you to play this role in this film? Uh, it was excellent being on set and playing this role. Um, it was a lot of fun to play the character and kind of give him uh, give him heart, give him soul, and uh, at the same time find his fears and find where he lies in the script. And it was excellent being on set with these people that I absolutely love working with. It was a great crew. Yeah, and you guys seem like a very close-knit family after all, after talking to your cast and everything. That was what's so nice about it is that everybody, I, I met these people and in one day I was like, I feel like I could do another project with these people or I feel like I could hang out with these people and just grab a drink with them sometime. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was that kind of thing. Yeah, everybody was very loving and very open. So it was impossible to do without an A1 squad of team players with great attitudes that were willing just to get the film done. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that was involved with this picture. Um, thank you again. Thank you for coming out. And uh, top to bottom, thank you all so much.